So, good day to each and everyone, no? Na, na, inabangan ulit, no? Yung ating panibagong topic, which is all about the diversity of cells, no? So, ang pag-uusapan na naman natin dito, it's all about the, um, um, determine na, um, the differences between the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic organisms, di ba? Ganun lang, at saka yung mga plant cell at saka animal cell, yun lang naman yun. And then, usually, um, at this, um, at this time, no, katulad nung nakaraan, um, nakaraan topic, we, um, we tackle all about the cell structure and dead function. But at this time, we must need to determine the differences between the prokaryotic organism and eukaryotic organism, also the plant cells and the animal cells. So, ano nga bang pinagkaiba ng prokaryotes at saka eukaryotes? So, kapag sinabi natin prokaryotes, no, ganyan po yung structure niya and then eukaryotic organisms, meron siyang composition na ganyan. And then, ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba nila? So, kapag sinabi natin prokaryotic organisms, um, it contains a lack of nucleus and then membrane-bound organelles just like yung mitochondria at saka chloroplast, no? And then, um, and then, next, it is one-celled unicellular, unicellular organisms like bacteria and then archaea. Yun lang po, dun lang siya nakafocus. Yung bacteria and then archaea, it is one of the three compositional domain, no? According to the higher form of our life na nakabase dun sa taxonomy natin. yung mas mataas pa I think sa, sa kingdom mas mataas pa sa kingdom no? which is yung domain no? kasi yung sinasabi ko dito yung taxonomy ma-encounter din naman natin ito eh. ang pinakamataas no? according to according to several references kingdom ang pinakamataas pero sa totoo lang may mas mataas pa sa kingdom which is yung domain domain then kingdom phylum class order family genus at yung species So, ayan po. So, balik tayo dito sa topic. So, what about eukaryotic organism? It composed of true nucleus and have a membrane-bound organelles. No? Um, it, it consists of both unicellular, yung protist, no? And then yung multicellular organisms, just like animals, plants, and then fungi. No? Most of the living organisms, nandun niya. Taglay ang isang eukaryotic organism. And then at the same time, Pasok dito yung tinatawag na tina plant cell and then yung animal cells. So, kapag sinabi, um, sinabi, kapag sinabi natin plant cell at saka animal cell, they are both eukaryotic organisms but they have a differences based on their structures and their organelles na nakasuspend dun sa kanilang cytoplasm. So, um, yan lang naman po yung ano nila, yung taglay ng isang plant cell at saka animal cell once na nagamit natin ang Venn diagram. So, kapag sinabi natin um, plant cell, no, ang mga tagline na organelles or yung present, no, ay hindi, huwag muna tayo dun, dun muna tayo sa gitna. Ang mga present sa bawat cells na na-mention natin, no, is yung nucleus, plasma membrane, cytoplasm, mitochondrion, Golgi body or Golgi apparatus or Golgi complex, smooth ER, rough ER, lysosome, vacuole or vesicle, then ribosomes. But by the way, in vacuole, katulad ng sinabi ko, yung plant cell, ang vacuole ng plant cell ay malaki and then yung animal cell naman ay maliit lamang yung kanilang vacuole. What about yung plant cell, no? Sinabi natin plant, yung mga, mga present na organelles dun sa kanilang plant cell ay ang cell wall tsaka chloroplast. Yan po. Include na natin yung large vacuole. And then, yung mga present organelles sa animal cells ay centriole, centrosome, small vacuole, pati na rin yung cilia and then flagella. So, um, yun na lang naman yun. Yun na lang naman. Yun, na, yun lang yung topic natin for this time. No? Yung sobrang ikli lang naman talaga niya. Yun lang naman talaga ang um, concern ng topic ng ating lesson for this moment. No? So, yun lang. No? So, Have a good day to each and everyone and then <laughs> goodbye.